next video in today's video uh, we will be for our pet care application we will be designing this uh, help screen as well as the help detail screen so this one and this one uh, with flutter so let's get started so here uh, as you can see i have designed it already and this is the final output so if i click on any one of this item uh, like currently all data is static uh, nothing is uh, dynamic because we haven't designed the api yet so yeah uh, let's get started so as usual uh, what i have done is firstly inside my main dot dot i have uh, made, made sure that uh, this help screen is my first screen because i don't have to uh, navigate constantly uh, to the help screen so this is uh, by default i have kept it as starting point next inside constants dot dart um, i have added the required color so you can add all this required color which might whichever might be missing from uh, your uh, constants file as well as i have added this image and i have been using webp images because a lot of this svg images are not proper uh, it's very difficult to render this svg images because their format itself is not proper uh, that's why next uh, i have added also added this help route as well as the help detail route and i have also added some uh, boy, uh, like some constant steps to our file next uh, inside help dot dart as you can see i have taken an app bar uh, with an uh, constants of uh, icon button next i have taken a padding and inside that a column the first is our text next followed by some padding and i have added a expanded widget for our helper uh, help header item uh, which takes an image as well as a title now if you uh, see the uh, help uh, header item it just has a container and uh, which has a child and i have added some padding uh, with a text uh, to it as well uh, next if you go over here i have just added one divider and then an expanded widget again with a list view dot builder uh, which takes and help uh, uh, help list header item so this is different so if you check over here it just has a row with a text then a spacer and with a text as well again next uh, here i have taken a help list card item so if you check the help list card item i have just added some widgets at the start uh, this is for our star image uh, like this rating uh, icon which you have then first i have taken a card uh, for that uh, next uh, the shape is rounded rectangular border and i have added some elevation as well next a padding uh, within that a column and then a row then a image dot asset of wet image uh, and i have added this flexible of flex 2 and a flex of 5 for our uh, this particular column so inside that i have just taken some text for our doctor name then uh, the details for the veterinary and uh, next a row and here i am mapping all the star widgets uh, st uh, the rating stars uh, which we have added inside a list and then i have taken some padding uh, with the text for it uh, next if you see i have just taken a text and i have added a spacer next uh, i have added an help row image text so if you go to the help row image text here you can see i have just taken a row with our image dot asset then a padding and then a text so pretty simple next uh, here i have taken an uh, same help row image text as well so i have shown you help uh, header item so this is the one help list card item so here you can see the help list card item next i have added a help list header item and after that an help row image uh, text dot dart and this is the help dot dart now to navigate to the help detail screen inside the main dot dart as well i have added this help detail over here okay and if you see the help detail screen like it, it's pretty simple i've just taken a stateful widget again this uh, image has been as added for our rating star icon and i have just taken a scaffold and i have also taken a height then i have taken an app bar with elevation of zero and i have added some leading icon button then i have set the background color to it then i have added some title to it as well and i have made sure the title is at the center next i have taken a column 
inside that i have taken image dot asset and uh, next it would be the padding inside that i have taken a card uh, after that i have taken a column and in that column we will just add this text then another text and uh, after that one more padding with the row and i have just added one text then uh, this row is for our uh, ratings image list then i have just added one text uh, to show that uh, uh, the ratings uh, wh what the particular ratings are then I again I have added a padding with a row and image dot asset then a padding of text and here I have added the uh, timings uh, then a spacer again then again image dot asset for our location image then a text for our kilometers and again a text for our appointment now when you if you see then we are moving out of our card as well as with our padding then adding another padding with some uh, boilerplate text about uh, details of that veterinary and uh, then you see uh, this uh, row with a padding and a text has been added for recommended for then i have added a container with a name like this is mostly the dog uh, dog's name and next i have added another text button with a container box just sorry box decoration then a row spacer text then an image dot asset so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching bye